What's up guys, it's Daz here. But you don't really care as we're in Route 1 and I can't even get through the first patch of grass. Alright Pat Rat, you've done it now. I'm afraid I'm going to have to defeat you with my most powerful Pokemon and technically only Pokemon if we don't count my side series. Oinky doink. Very intimidating name I know and wow. I would have thought Ember would have done more damage, but I'm okay with doing a little damage, so let's do it again. Burn these wildlife creatures, how dare they exist in my path. And a critical hit, which means you do double damage. I'm not really sure if I should explain these generic, basic battle mechanics, but I, maybe? I mean, I expect everyone knows more than me at this point, but oh well. Hello you, you seem like a fun individual. Wild Pokemon are hiding in their gra tall grass? What does this mean for you? It means when you want to battle or capture wild Pokemon, you should go walk in the tall grass. This grass doesn't really look that tall. Well, I, I mean, I guess it would like be up to your knees, but still, it's not like engulfing you. Trainer tips. Make an effort to talk to all the people you meet during your journey. Chances are they will have something useful to tell you. Well, alrighty then. Now, I do believe this girl that looks like a monkey with her ears hanging out the side has something for us. Is your Pokemon's HP alright? When your Pokemon's HP decreases while you're on the road, it can be a big problem, so I'll give you this. Put it in your bag's medicine case. I guess everyone else in the world has the exact same bag, huh? I guess I'd like to be part of that bag com company, they must be rich. When your Pokemon's HP decreases, they no longer have the energy to fight. So don't push your Pokemon too hard, and let them rest often. Alright then, let's progress. Where are we going? To the left here you see there's a beach and some water, which we can't traverse yet because trainers can't swim. Ever. Don't know why, they just choose not to, I guess. Either way, let's make some progress. What's this? Route 1! Uh, did we not already... Were we not already in Route 1? I thought this was Route Why is there a second sign inside the route saying Route 1? I guess maybe it's as if you came from the water or something? Like some sort of aquatic creature? I don't know. We have a lily pup in our way. We're level 7 now. We're all... We are over even. We're over double your level. You haven't got a chance. I'm sorry. Also, lily pup's first attack is leer and its second is tackle. So if it's a low enough level, it might not even have tackle. At least that's my guess if it starts with one move. Which I'm pretty sure they do at like level 1, 2 or 3. Either way, lily pup's down in... No less than three turns, in fact, done in two. So, let's go forward. Hello, you two. I have not seen enough of your face yet. How about it, Daz? Do you want to compare which one of us has the most Pokemon with them? Um, yeah, sure. I have every possible Pokemon available right now. Wow, three? That's awesome. Are you excited to have that many Pokemon with you? Incidentally, if you check your Pokedex, you'll see how many Pokemon you found and how many you've caught. I'm off to Ahumula Town. The professor is waiting. Uh. Daz picked up the X transceiver? Hello, how is everyone doing? You and your Pokemon are getting along great now, right? Oh, Professor! Right now, I'm in front of Ahumula Town's Pokemon Center. I'd like to show you around, so hurry on over, everyone. Okay, the Pokemon Center, right. Okay, see you. I need to change to Professor Juniper's voice, it's too similar to Bianca's. Well, I'm going on ahead. Also, I guess the X transceiver's FaceTime, or Skype, or whatever. Also, you may have noticed, I've changed my name to be Little Lower ca Lowercase, because I always thought that in the Pokemon universe, names were fully capitalized. They are in some games, I swear, including the Pokemon, but if not, they're not in this game at least, so I'm going to make them lowercase. Just a little thing I changed. Some wild Pokemon jump out of the tall grass and attack. But you can make your friends with you can make friends with those Pokemon if you reach out to them. And they don't bite off your hand. Ah does, there you are! Travelling with your Pokemon is truly one of the joys of being a trainer! Please follow me! I'd like to show you the most important place for a trainer to know! I feel like that's quite obnoxious of a voice I gave her. I need to think of something different. I'll come up with it soon enough. This is the Pokemon Center! Don't you feel better as soon as you step through the door? Okay, let's start your tour! Well, I think I'm gonna keep it. I'll keep the annoyingness. Ooh, wait for me! A Pokemon Center is a truly incredible place! Do you know why? Because your Pokemon can be healed! Much like your mother can heal them anyway, so why bother? And what's more, it's absolutely free! A Pokemon Center is a trainer's best friend! Here, Daz, give it a try! Um, okay. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. 
We restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? I would! Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Gotta love that classic jingle. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Okay, now that your Pokemon have rested, I'll show you how to use that PC at the Pokemon Center. This is the PC. It's free for any trainer to use. You can store Pokemon in your PC boxes or select Pokemon you stored in your PC boxes to take along with you. In addition, if you catch a new Pokemon while you have six Pokemon traveling with you, the Pokemon you just caught is sent automatically to the PC network. Surprising, isn't it? Amazing, even! Here's something else that's cool. If you select my PC, I'll evaluate the progress you've made on your Pokedex. Professor? It says someone's PC on the screen. Who is someone? Very good, Bianca. That's a great observation. Good question, I'd like to say more, but for now, just ignore that and go ahead and use the PC. Someone is the person who made the Pokemon storage system. Someone I'm sure you'll meet someday. Okay, let's move on. Oh, I'm not even gonna... Okay, well, whatever. Now, this is the Pokemart. This is a place you buy useful items and sell the ones you don't need anymore. That gentleman over there will help you with a smile. So, let's wrap this up. I've given you the basics of being a trainer. I'm gonna head back to Nuvema, Nuvema Town. One final thing. When you go to Striaton City, go and meet an inventor named Fennel. She's a friend of mine from long ago, and I'm sure she'll help you on your way. Best of luck, I hope that your journeys prove to be the adventure of a lifetime. So yes, for once, the Pokemon Center isn't just the Pokemon Center, it's also the Pokemart. It's all combined. Ooh, what should I buy? Potions and Pokeballs are definitely important. Um, thinking... Oh, you stopped. Ooh, what should I buy? Oh, I thought there was more to it, but apparently not. Well, in that case, cool. We don't actually have anything else to do in here. What's up here? Hold on, this is new. I am sorry, you can't enter the union yet. Please do visit again. Okay, so different rooms as well in the back of the Pokemon Center. Interesting. Be sure to save what's happened up to this point before you forget, then you can take a break. Sure, we will do later on. I'm in the middle of an episode right now. So, something like, sounds like something's going on in the plaza. Well, let's have a look-see. Huh? Something's going on in the plaza? What's, oh, whoa, there's a bit of a crowd going on. What? Dad, come here a sec. What is this? Bunch of knights? My name is Getsis. I'm here representing Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what? I would like you to talk. I would like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners that have come to live together because we want to need each other. However, is this really true? The truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth? Actually, I, I thought he was a really chubby man, but he actually looks kind of strength, strong from the front. Pokemon are subject to the selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around when they are our partners at work. Can anyone Yikes. say with confidence no that there way. is no truth in what I'm saying? Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. They are living beings that contain unknown potential. They are living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. Tell me, what, what is our responsibility towards those wonderful beings called Pokemon? That's right, we must liberate the Pokemon. Then, and only then, will humans and Pokemon truly be equals. Everyone, I end my words here today by imploring you to consider the relationship between people and Pokemon, and the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. Yes. Ooh, he's even got his own little bodyguard formation. Interesting. Uh, what about that about that speech? What do you think we should do? Liberate Pokemon? That's not even possible! Uh. Ooh. Your 
Pokemon. Just now, it was saying... Slow down, you talk too fast. And what's this about Pokemon? Talking? That's an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh, then you can't do- you two can't hear it either. How sad. My name is N. My name is Cherry, and this is Daz. We were asked to complete the Pokedex, and we just left on our journey. My main goal is to become the champion, though. Eh? The Pokedex, eh? So, you're gonna confine many, many Pokemon in Pokeballs for that, then? I'm a trainer, too, but I can't help wondering. Are Pokemon really happy that way? Well, Daz, is it? Let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. Oh, you mean a battle? Um, okay, if that's what you meant. Um, you were challenged by Pokemon Trainer N. Purloin? Oh, I've seen that before. Mrs. Um, two Big Eyelids. Yeah, yeah, I know the one. Okay then, um, welcome to the fight against N, some mysterious person who can speak to Pokemon. Are you from the Star Wars universe by any chance? Because you seem to be able to speak a language where... Oh, never mind, I don't know. More, let me hear the voice of your Pokemon. Sure, the voice of my Pokemon is pure fire and pain and death on your kitty cat. Sorry. Also, I guess I... Ooh, I inflicted burn. Good. This is a thing that can happen in Pokemon battles. Some... T uh, what's the word? Like, hazard ailments? Ailments. Damage. They're gonna get burned at the end of every turn because they, they're burnt. That's what fire does sometimes. Now you know basic element characteristics in both the Pokemon universe and real life. Whoa, 118 experience? Don't mind me. Ooh, okay, 3 HP, that's good. Oh, I almost leveled up twice. I never expected to hear Pokemon say such things. What do you mean by that? What did he say? As long as Pokemon are confined in Pokeballs, Pokemon will never be become perfect beings. I have to change the world for Pokemon, because they're my friends, by stuffing them into Pokeballs as well. Of course, limiting their potential. Good logic on my part. Oh, um... Bye. Huh, strange guy. But I'm not gonna worry about it. Trainers and Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going on ahead. I wanna battle the gym leader in the next town, Striaton City. Aim to battle gym leader after gym leader. The best way for a trainer to become stronger is to challenge the gym leaders in each area. Okay. Good to know. And I guess Bianca will stay back shopping. Now, what's... Let's go and explore a little bit of this town, why don't we? In Accumula Town. There's some Pokeballs over there, I guess? Beautiful scenery and relaxing sounds. Oh, man. I sure do love this place. Sure makes me feel happy. Well, I'm... I'm glad for you. I would actually probably also enjoy standing on the roof of a building, which I've never done! Man, I've never said so huh. Chip whip! Hello, Minocchio. I'm assuming that's your name. Shall I play my favourite tune? There, yeah, go on. Hee <laughs> hee. Please listen to my music. Is, are you are you playing it now? She is concentrating on her performance. Okay, do I have to activate you as well? Do you wanna to listen to my drum? My heart, as long as my heart beats, I will keep on drumming! Oh, it actually adds, oh, it adds to the mute. I like that. Huh. Does it stick around? Maybe. Maybe that was just a coincidence that the drum started then. If not, then, oh, that's a shame. Anyway, let's go into other buildings. I just want to explore. I don't think we're quite ready to go into Route 2 anyway. Route 2? I'm going to say Route 2, by the way. On Route 2, many trainers train their Pokemon by having them battle. Good to know. Guess what I know! I know! Pokemon can remember up to four moves at a time! Yee -yee. Okay, so yes, it is good in at least the early parts of the day to talk to most people because you get some little tutorial bits. Weak Pokemon, strong Pokemon, cool Pokemon, cute Pokemon. Many Pokemon look forward to meeting you. Um, cool. Well, you have that great bag that can store anything. Why don't you buy a lot of potions and put them in your bag? Um, yeah, maybe later, yeah? Okay. Now, there is actually a item we can get in this town if we go to the building in the north... Wait, no. Yes, the building in the northwest. But first, I want to talk to this old man. Uh, let me give you the benefit of my experience. You listening? The number of Pokemon you can take with you at once is six. Cool, thank you. Pokemon do everything in their power for people. People treat these Pokemon with love and affection. That's why I think our mutual relationship is. 
what? What I think our relationship is. Good to know. Thank you. I guess everyone just loves talking about Pokemon. If you get strong, you can move forward. If you can move forward, you'll be stronger. That's the cool thing about journeys. And sending the kids away. That's also good. Pokemon will be strong if you train them, even if they're weak now. Love is what's important. I have a lot of nerdy voices, apparently. When a hero leads the world, a Pokemon is going to come and help the hero. Everyone in the Yano region knows that legend. Well, um, I didn't, but I guess I do now. Oh, look, it's a... I want to say Bidoof. It's not a Bidoof. It's a freaking... Get back here. Pat Rat. There we go. Scree, scree. Okay. This is a Pokeball I got in the past. I'm going to give it to you. And that's how you get the item in this town. The only one. A Pokeball. You can't catch a Pokeball if you don't have a Pokeball. Mon. Um, well, never mind. Said that completely backwards. Hi, hi, let's play rock, paper, scissors! Pokemon rock, paper, scissors? Oh, okay, fire, grass, water. In that case, water. Yes! Your Pokemon is a water type, mine is fire. Fire is weak against water type, so I lose. I, I guess that's quite an innovative way to teach people what's good and what's bad, though I'm pretty sure most people could generally work out that water is strong against fire, considering, you know real life and all that, but hey, what even is real life, am I right? <laughs> Alright, so you may notice also up here, you're going to be able to see exactly what time of day it is that I'm recording and like the dates, but oh well. On that note, on our way to Route 2, I'm going to end it off here since we're at about 18 minutes of recording time and I want these to be about maybe 15 minutes-ish. So next time, we're going to move on up to Route 2 and... Well, see what's in store for us. For now, my name's been Daz, you didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit.